Okay. Hi, everybody. Get, well, as this is in part, this is part two of my uh, CGM update. Actually, my whole insulin regime update. And we're also going to do a really, tomorrow is, um, I have been keeping uh, my insulin pump on my stomach for many, many years. And before I used the pods, I was using the Medtronic's uh, pump system. But over all the years, you get a uh, slight scarring on your stomach and your insulin doesn't work as well. Uh, and so I am now going to, uh, I'm going to, my, I've been putting the AGM on my arm here, as you can see here. And the nice thing is both my AGM and my pump expire tomorrow. So, uh, and not only does on the AGM, not only does the, the sensors expire, the transmitter. So that's going to be a major change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving, I'm going to move my pump uh, onto this arm here. Because, you know, that nothing's been on there for at least a good t 10 days, because the, the sensors last 10 days. And and to prep for this, I, I rotated the pump uh, the normal twice, but I did an extra move just slightly over to try to get a new spot. So this side, nothing's been on the side for a good nine days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the new uh, AGM Medtronic sentence, uh, um, not Medtronic, sorry, de the new AGM Dexcom sensor on this point, and uh, the my new pump will be here. So we're doing a whole change, so the pump will find a new place to put to put in and I'll give a nice fresh fresh point. So with moving magic it is tomorrow! In part one we're going to look at my Dexcom CGM. As you can see here is the new transmitter and I've already removed my old deck my old a CGM and here is the uh, old Dexcom transmitter. I'll show you how I removed the transmitter. Uh, you pull down the tab here, yes, and then uh, you can just grab it by the thumb and hold on the side and it just slides out. And then you can dispose of the, the sharps and you can reuse that transmitter. But that that has now expired. Now the transmitters last three months and the sensors only last 10 days. So I am going to dispose of the sensor and we're going to clean the transmitter off here so that we can use it in a new sensor. As I said earlier, this uh, transmitter is actually expired. So this is just a demonstration how it would clean it off to be reused in a new sensor. And we'll, after, after cleaning off, we'll just put it beside to be disposed of. So as you can see here, uh, I have my new transmitter and we're going to open up and get it ready to use. So the Dexcom is controlled by an uh, app on the iPhone. So we're going to enter a new uh, transmitter. And it looks like we're going to have to pair the sensor first. Yes. As you can see, it wants both the transmitter and the sensor. So we'll get the sensor out ready. Okay. Make sure you can see that. So we've got the sensor here now, and I'm going to enter the code, and I'm entering 5937 and save. And then confirm. Now it's going to ask, now it wants me to enter the transmitter. So now I enter the, trans, the transmitter number from that on the box. So in this section, I'm going to show you how I apply the uh, sensor to my body. First thing we do is we clean off the area, get a wipe, and clean off the area. This is where I used to put the pods. I'm moving my CGM here. Now we've got the sensor here with the applicator and we'll take off the um, backing here. And attach it and then remove the safety. 
and you should hear a nice click. There we go. So now that I have the sensor in, I'll grab the new transmitter and you insert the transmitter so you know it's a T shape. So we insert the tab in first, and then push hard in it, it clicks in real easy. Very easy to see it on the stomach. And now I'm starting the uh, transmitter on the app. Now I'm going to show you how I dispose of my CGM applicator. Um, as you can see, this is pretty bulky, and I cannot throw this in the garbage because of the um, sharps. Uh, so uh, it basically, you just pry it apart into its components, and uh, I put all the plastic and metal in the recycling and put the sharps part in the uh, sharp container here. And I just pry it open, and I'll show you how I do that now. Uh, what you got to do is uh, pop off those uh, four pl little plastic uh, knobs and we'll start prying that open, okay? Yeah, yeah I hear them pop off. Okay, there they popped off. So, That's the two metal pieces right there. There's all the plastic. There's little pieces of plastic in there. There's the plastic. And then I put the whole, sh the whole pit. This is the needle. So that's the sharp. So I put that in my sharps container. And that's, that I can put in the recycling bin. There we go. So that's the little extra step I do. In part two, we're going to be looking at how I insert my Omnipod dash. Clean the top of that. And we'll take the pod out. They supply you a syringe, which is very handy. I think I might have done this in part one, but it doesn't matter. We'll do it part two anyway, because with the old CGM. If this is a repeat, I apologize. And then what I do is I put a full thing of air in the, into the thing. And then we let it tense it. I find I better let, let, let the pressure push it back out. And that works the best. Because you don't get any air bubbles. It just comes up nice and slowly. And it really looks good. I always put a little bit there to push the people got any air bubbles. No. That looks really, really good. And set up new pod. As you see, we've done the insulin and we've oh we got the, the thing ready, so now it's going to ask us to fill the pod. I've taken the pot out of the thing because I quite like it's easier if I take it out. But you have to take it out to get to the. Um, you have to take it out to get to the needle. So we go to the little point there. And again, and the sharps continue. So we've got, we heard the two beeps, so I go next, and it's going to communicate with the pod. Okay, we'll let it do its communication, I'll take a little while. So now it's asking us to uh, peel off this, I'm ready to uh, stick it onto your, my arm, so what we'll do is we'll, I'll get this ready, pull off that. And again there, this is a little trick that I, I've learned. You peel off one and you use that to hold down um, to get the other one. Because if you don't, it all comes off. Okay, so we're there. And now we need just to stick that onto my arm. And what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm not going to, I am going to stick this onto my arm and then I'm going to press the start and then it'll ask me to confirm. Okay, so, okay. So I have the sensor on that arm, so we are going to wipe all this area off here. I'm going to put it down up like that, put it on. Then I get okay. thing. And I'll say start. And it'll ask me to do. Uh, I know this is it. This is good. Uh, and I'll confirm. And now it'll start. I can hear that going in. And there it just went in. Normally I have a mirror here. But I think Laurie can see if it's right. Yeah. And we'll just say yes. Lori confirmed it for me, but if I looked in the mirror, I could see it. And now that's the pod. Okay. Well, thanks again very much for watching, and that completes my current series on how I manage my diabetes. Bye.